What is up YouTube? Today we have a very special guest, Chris Bennett, otherwise known as the Blockchain Beard Guy, and he's talking about how you can get up to speed in the blockchain space and get yourself a job in the blockchain space. And he's gonna be on this channel over the next couple of weeks in a series of videos, so definitely smash the subscribe button if you haven't already so you can be notified when those videos come out. And guys, I know I have a lot of like purple and pink going on. I look kind of like a Gogurt container. So uh, yeah, shout out to 90s kids. Uh, does anyone like Gogurts? Because I always thought they were kind of nasty. Let me know in the comments below. Let's hash it out. Hey everyone, Chris Bennett here, the blockchain beard guy. Uh, listen, my friend Forrest reached out to me a few weeks ago said, I'm interested in doing a series of videos, would you be willing to help me out? And I asked him, what kind of videos do you want to do? And he told me some of the topics he wanted to cover. And when I heard what it is he wanted to cover, I thought they were such, such great topics. There was just no way I could say no. So I'm working on a series of videos with my friend Forrest. Uh, he asked me three great questions about blockchain. I'm going to do a video to answer each one. But the first one he asked me is, hey, what's the best way for someone new to this field to get up to speed on blockchain, to learn what blockchain's all about. <clears throat> and to me, there are two really good ways. There's no one answer that's better than another. Uh, but I wanna, I wanna point those out in those videos. So the first way is, uh, hey, I'm willing to invest a little bit more time and uh, I wanna maybe save some money, so, or the material I'm looking for isn't out there. So what's the best way to come up to speed? And that's just by using our good old friend Google. Um, when I first got into blockchain, there wasn't a whole lot of information that connected my background, which was 20 years of custom solutions design and architecture, to the blockchain world. So I just started looking for all the intelligent people on blockchain, Googling the topics that I found interesting. And what I found is there weren't a lot of people with my background with a deep background in software architecture and design and delivery who were in the blockchain world. And so that got me excited about education and solutions consulting and all the things that I'm doing now full time, excited to be doing in the blockchain space. But that'd be my first piece of advice is uh, take whatever skills you already have, whatever experience you already have, and find out how that fits in blockchain. Because I've said this before, but I'll say it over and over and over because I just don't think you can say it enough. You do not have to be technical. You don't have to be a developer. You don't have to be someone who writes code to have a home in blockchain. So if you spent your whole career honing a certain set of skills and you want to find out how that applies to blockchain, well, just learn everything you can about blockchain. Learn about the intersection between your skill set, your knowledge, your expertise in the blockchain world and figure out how you fit. So uh, as simple as it might sound, Google is one of your best friends as you're looking to come up to speed to blockchain. And your second best friend in all of this, and it's a close tie between first and second, is your good old friend YouTube, at least if you're like me. Um, I'm, I'm pretty intellectually lazy, so if I can watch a two minute YouTube video that conveys all the same information as reading a 50 page article, as reading two chapters of a book, well, boy, every time I'm gonna opt for that YouTube video. Um, so that's the do-it-yourself route. Plenty of information out there. I think oftentimes we take for granted, especially those of us that are a little bit younger than me, don't have as much gray in the beard, uh, that there was a time when people grew up and they didn't have all of humankind's knowledge right, right accessible at their fingertips. Um, right in one search engine that they could push in and uh, type in a, a query string and find out everything humanity knows about a certain topic. So don't take that for granted. Realize what an amazing thing that is. The second option, if you don't really have the time to spare, if you're busy working a day job, um, you got the family and the kids at night keeping you busy, and you just want to find a way to get up to blockchain to get some blockchain knowledge as soon as possible, uh, then don't overlook the training aspect, right? You're giving up a little bit of money for hours and hours and hours of do-it-yourself learning. 
And that's the other real big reason when I got when I got into blockchain, I got excited about being an educator is I saw there just weren't many voices like mine with my experience set coming into the blockchain world. And so if I can help other people get to the point where I'm at a little bit quicker and do that through teaching and education and training, well then that's a great avenue too. That's just helping other people who are as excited about blockchain as I am get into the space a little bit quicker. Um, so check out some of the courses out there. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased. I'm partial to the courses that are offered by the Blockchain Training Alliance uh, because I happen to be a course developer and instructor with them. But certainly, Blockchain Training Alliance isn't the only option out there. There are lots of options for offline learning, um, for <clears throat> non-video based learning. Um, you can certainly go out and pick up a book. I get asked that question a lot. Hey, what are some good books to read about blockchain? And there's a few of them out there, but I will caution you that blockchain is an emerging tech. Things change all the time in this space. The information you read last week may not even be relevant today because things are moving so quick. And traditional books have a very long publishing cycle. Uh, from the time an author gets done writing a book, it can be 6, 12, maybe 18 months. Um, from the time they submit that finished manuscript to a publisher, all the edits get done, the book goes to print, and it actually makes it into your local bookstore or onto Amazon.com. So I would say if you're really partial to books as a learning medium, use books to learn the bigger, higher level concepts, uh, the things that are going to be true no matter what. If you want to learn blockchain at a low level, uh, learn the right development protocols, the right patterns, practices, uh, security loopholes to avoid, um, then books probably aren't your best bet. You probably want to find something uh, where the publishing cycle is a little bit quicker. Medium.com is a great, great resource for finding articles and up-to-date content on blockchain. Uh, but you just gotta be a little bit careful because anybody can publish anything on Medium, so make sure you're vetting your sources. And again, don't deny the value of actually saving a little bit of time, paying some money and taking a course like the great courses we teach at Blockchain Training Alliance or many other great courses all out there, both online and offline, uh, instructor-led or virtual, can be a huge, huge time savings to you, especially if you're trying to balance your blockchain learning with a lot of other day-to-day -day responsibilities in life, like your work, uh, family life, commitments with friends, and things like that. So those are my tips for how to come up to blockchain. No secret hot sauce. Uh, either roll up your sleeves and do a lot of Googling and YouTube or uh, look at some of the courses that are out there to help you get up to speed in a certain area. But either way, I can't encourage you enough to get into blockchain. Either way, just know that no matter what your background, there's a place in blockchain for you. And it's one of the most fun technical communities you can be a part of because once you get into it, you realize that everybody's just like you. They're excited and they're pumped about blockchain and the future that it's going to bring. And that's just really infectious, really contagious. So uh, until next time, I want to thank my friend Forrest for asking me to put together this great video series, coming up with some great questions that I think everybody values and benefits if they learn the answers to. I hope you guys understand that my answers aren't definitive. This is just a great starting point for a discussion. So I'd love to hear your comments, your feedback. And until next time, this is Chris Bennett, your blockchain beard guy. Hope I get to see you at the next blockchain conference. So a big, big thank you to Chris, the blockchain beard guy. Us bearded fellas got to stick together. And it's really great that we get to share our story, our journey, and our tips for you to get a job in the blockchain space and push this movement forward. It's everyone's responsibility to help educate others and work together because that is the point of our distributed decentralized future, have each other's backs and make the world better. So thank you guys very much for watching and please do check out some of my Token Talk Tuesday videos and some of my other videos that have come out in the past weeks. I've got some really cool content and I would love to have you guys stick around on my channel. Thank you guys very much. Cheers.